How's it going guys? Templar here. Today I'm going to show you how to complete a hard rebel camp, or hardest rebel camp, uh, without losing any units or very low amounts of units so you can actually split a good profit on it. So I was going to do a are you rebel camps worth of video, but they obviously are. You get a ton of resources, ton of cash. It's good money. So, what do you want to do at the start? You want to jump that little barricade of spearmen there, and you want to make sure all the archers on the enemy team die. The archers are your greatest weakness to losing kits. Um, over on that tower in the background there, you will sometimes have an enemy range unit spawn. Just make sure you peg them long range with your archers. They won't even detect you or fire back. That'll be easy. So the video... I don't even know. It's a pre-recorded video, and I'm just putting a voiceover on it. Um, at the time, obviously, I did a five-man pre-made, and we were just shooting the shit, so... I didn't think that'd be acceptable on a guide video. So I'll just chime in on important parts, I guess. But, right here, as you can see, the middle area is where the enemy units will default their tracking to, say. So just make sure you use a shield unit and push right up the middle. Enemies will keep spawning from the... B point, I think that is? No, that would be the C point. The enemies will keep spawning from the C point continuously, so you could have somebody go up the hill there and kind of block them off and kill them before they get to you if you want. In this middle area here, not there won't always be range units spawning, but if there are, just be careful. Make sure that your archers don't get hit by their archers or you will lose a lot of copper, or bronze, I guess. So I just kind of distract them a little bit here. One important thing is make sure you never step on that cap point until you guys are in position. If you step on the cap point, more enemy units will start spawning from other areas, and you definitely don't want that because there could be horses, heroes, pretty much anything. You could pull from a variety of units, you don't want that until you're ready. So tube over there brings your shield unit. One guy or gal is gonna have to be the shield person for the team as they will be absorbing all the fire and you guys will be healing them with long swords if you want. We pull in their archers behind them because this is up there in that kind of little corner is where the enemy will start spawning. As the enemy is already spawning on from the top of the hill at the next cap point, just put uh, another unit right where our iron reapers are right there. Iron Reapers are kind of a little bit overkill, but you can use them if you have them, I guess. Yeah, on that little corner, sometimes an enemy hero will spawn. And if they do, just make sure you send some extra heroes in to kind of cover. Don't leave your tube by yourself or himself. So, while we were doing this, we ended up doing all the rope camps in one shot and all the difficulties. And we, what we ended up doing is just, like I said earlier, sending someone up at the bottom of the hill where I'm looking right now. And just blocking all those units off so we didn't have to deal with them. And yeah, before you continue on after you cap, make sure your arrows are full and your units are healed. Because you do not want to lose units on this or your profit goes down. So the bottom of this hill sometimes archers spawn or an enemy hero spawns. You just want to make sure your melee units are in front to absorb the fire for you and your heroes will go and deal with the archers or enemy hero. Now when you go up this hill, there will be archers on the right side, left side and in the middle. So one person, probably the person with the shields will go up the middle. After you clear the pack of units that come down, don't rush until these units come down and engage you. But when they do finish engaging you, go up the hill, one guy goes down the middle, one guy goes left, one guy goes right. Deals with those range units, because the range units will pick you apart. Um, the range units can vary from, I don't know, peasant archers, all the way up to like imperial gunners it looks like, so... Be careful. It seems at the lower difficulty, they have like a higher chance of using guns than the higher difficulty. Or we just got really weird spawn rates in our hardest games. Because on a lower difficulty, we definitely had lots of guns on this hill. But we had a lot of Imperial Archers on the higher difficulty. 
Once again, another reminder, make sure you do not stand on the capture point. The capture point will spawn more units that are coming from this bridge area I'm going to. More than just these default units that come. So one person has to go ahead like I'm doing right here. And they need to go and destroy these two watches before you start capturing. As you can see, they do fire a lot of arrows. And when you start capturing, some archers will spawn with them. Or gunners. You don't want that happening. So just make sure you send someone out ahead of the group to destroy these watches before you start the cap. Now once you're done the done once you are done killing the watches, just uh, move your units up to where Tube will move her shields. Just copy her. It's kind of at the bottom of the hill behind me. And before you obviously move your units, make sure your arrows are refilled because this is the final push. You won't have uh, time. Well, you do have time, but it's a waste of time to go back and refill them after you push so far. So these units that are spawning right here are just default spawn. It's not because we sat on the cap point. If you sit on the cap point, you could have horses and heroes and a variety of different things spawn, not just those uh, glaive units. This corner right here is a good start for where you want your archers. As I found, if you were sitting on this corner, the enemy archers wouldn't spawn here. The enemy archers will spawn on the left side fork up there, as soon as you sit on that cap point. Sorry, I meant not sit on the cap point. As soon as you finish capturing the cap point, they'll spawn there. And it could be between one and three units of archers. So now that we have the cap point, uh, some units will start spawning on the uh, right side also, just a small amount. And the left side will spawn those archers, but uh, I do believe we dealt with them already. Once again, make sure you do not stand on this end, this home point. If you stand on the home point, the enemy will charge out with heroes, horses, pretty much anything that will mess your day up unless you contain them in those two choke points right there. So in this case we put the Iron Reapers on the left side choke point that Nat has and on the right side choke point we eventually put Tube's shield units. And with that we can contain them in those two choke points and then all the archers we brought can focus fire on the right side choke point more than the left side choke point because the left side choke point spawns less units than the right side as you will see in a moment. So there's tube shield unit. And then once the everyone's in position, I like to move my archers from where they are in the corner. Kind of onto the capture point also. Once everyone's ready though, never start until everyone's ready or you could start losing unnecessary kits and units. Once the cap starts, there will be a few, a small unit contingency on the left, and on the right will be a lot of units, as you can see right here. So just focus fire them and start like attacking the enemy hero, because he will knock your shield wall over if he's a glaive hero, which would suck. And yeah, just do that. 
and you will have maybe one unit get lost if you are unlucky. If you're lucky and careful, you can complete these within, what did I do this in, 10, 11 minutes or so? You can probably go even faster if you have higher tier units than, or you're really like pushing it like we were doing. Weren't doing, I mean. Eventually we ended up like jumping. One person would jump all the way to B point right off the bat, stuff like that. You'll figure it out as you go. Just kind of follow this as a basic guide. But with that, I think that's all I have to tell you. Um, if you have any questions, message me on the NA server. Game name is Fire Templar, or in-game name is Fire Templar. You will, I'll respond as soon as I see it. Um, feel free to add me as a friend if you want. I'll answer any questions that you need. Um, as per usual, you can also uh, comment if you want me to answer anything on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, folks. Have a nice day.